Hello fellow hunters and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Barque Fernando. Uh, trying to unlock all of the various points of interest and, you know, trying to get the mission, the little missions done along the way. Uh, as always, <laughs> as I, I promise I don't do this on purpose. I was trying, I was, it, it occurred to me that I need to look over and see what remaining animals that we have that we need to get trophies for here. And I was like, oh, I still don't have my spreadsheet up. It's seriously, every episode, there's something wrong with my brain that will not allow me to remember to pull up my spreadsheet first. So anyways, uh, we need uh, the cinnamon teal, the black buck, the collared peccary, and the water buffalo. We need a gold version of each of those to complete our set for this map. Uh, Partially because, you know, a couple of them were already, we already had gold versions of those, the Axis Deer and the Mule Deer, or the Axis Deer and the Red Deer, we already had trophy versions of those. So, uh, we're going to be primarily focused on just getting the map done. Our loadout for today is the Malmer 7mm for our Class 4 and up animals, the Ranger 243 for our Class 2 to 3 animals, and the 22 Defender Pistol for our Class 1 animals, which will be the uh, Ducks. We have the 454 for our self-defense against any animals that may decide to uh, try to come and attack us, but I have a feeling that on this map, that's pretty much only going to be the Water Buffalo. So, um... The plan for today is to run up, grab this lookout point here, and then see what's uh, what's going to be around here, and then go figure out what she wants us to do for this mission. Since we still have over a kilometer to go, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in right here, and I'll bring you back. Well, maybe we'll get a shot at this Axis Deer, but we already have an Axis Deer trophy, and I'm not overly concerned about... But we don't have a collared peccary. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance at it, though. The collared peccary is a class 4 animal, so we could use our... Uh, we can use our Malmer for that. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get a chance at it because it was on the other... They're always on the other side of a hill. It's just the way... Oh, it's, oh okay. Not all trucks to animals. So I always apply the sniff test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by. But if you find all the droppings, that animal oh, on, is long gone, and you should look for a more recent trail. All right. Well, we found a nice little uh, we found a nice little need zone over here, and I'm pretty sure we got a couple of these. But I have no I, I didn't get a chance to look at their score. Nice silver. It's pretty easy to get uh, kill shots for these guys because I'm using such an overpowered weapon for them, but. I like to set my uh, I like to set my loadout up so, such that I don't have to be super crazy accurate to get kill shots. So another silver. Oh, that went all the way through, and oh, okay, that hit him hit him right in the lung. All right, well, I don't think I'm gonna get another chance to uh, shoot at these guys. So let's continue on down the hill here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some more. Uh, but I don't know. Let's have to wait and see. All right, well, we came across a uh, point of interest over here as we were heading up towards the, uh, the lookout point there. So we'll find out what this one has to say and then continue on our way to the lookout point. The, bu the bulodos buried here caused me nothing but grief in life. Still, am I not generous? I provided them with a burial ground in the most beautiful place on Earth. Do you think they would be grateful for this? Not these bulodos. Bulodos? Boludos? Boludos? I don't know. I speak some Spanish, but not know, not well enough to know weird words like this one. Uh, the less said about them, the better. <laughs> okay. My Fernando isn't buried here. He deserves better. A blessed monument at our estancia. Unfortunately, several of Fernando's uncles, brothers, and cousins have met their ends here in the park. Those careless boludos never appreciated nature like Fernando did. They caused me so much heartache after Fernando passed. But the thing is, family is family, so I've generously dedicated this little plot to their memories. Not that anybody ever comes to visit them. Yeah. I appreciate the difference between this map and the last one, where she waits to talk until we leave the little menu there. The little... I mean, Red Deer, I guess. The way he decided to keep stopping like that. It's 
I'll pull out the pistol at this point. Ah. Man, I'm... Just... Okay, well, you know, that wasn't lame and stupid, and, you know, I suck right now. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, he's gonna. It looks like he's probably going to die, but I don't think we got a vital hit on him or anything. I, I was I was spaced out or spazzed out too far, too much at the last second. So, yeah, he definitely went down. There he is. Oh, well. What do we got? A bronze. He wasn't even a gold, though, so that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Hit him three times, though. Ugh. I didn't realize I hit him again. All right, well, off we go to the lookout point. I'll see you guys back in just a moment. So that was a black buck here. I'm going to try to there take it out. There are antelopes, and then there are black bucks. The black bucks were imported here from their native India. I bet if you ask them, they like Patagonia better. The grass. The water. Everything is more abundant. I don't know here. if we got it or got that it means well or larger, not. larger, healthier blackbacks. Look for males with thick horns, three twists, white spirals, and tips pointing outward if you're searching for the ultimate trophy. Oh, it looks like there were water buffalo over here, too. At some point. There's an easy trick to hunting water buffalo that a surprising number of people miss. What a buffalo loves? Water. If any guests ever ask you where to find them, send them to the lakes and swamps. What a buffalo are vital for containing and controlled vegetation growth in the reserve, especially during wet seasons. And their meat? Fantastic. Our local beef is world class. But if you ask me, I still prefer buffalo. Oh, we already got water buffalo here too. So 145, 138 is the big guys, is a gold. We can try him, see if we can get a... See if we can... Okay, it doesn't seem like the water buffalo are that tough. So let's see what we got here. Oh, he would have been a goal, but I wasn't able to get, I wasn't able to get a, 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 I wasn't able to get a vital shot. Well, unfortunately, you know, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. That could have been, black that could have been really perfect. nice. Fancier blackback tenderloin served with a zucchini medley paired with a 2013 Cabernet Franc is going to be signature meal for Parque Fernando. Será delicioso. Okay, well, since we're already over here at the lookout point, let's go ahead and unlock that. Then we'll mosey over towards where the uh, mission is. I like that these, I like that this tower isn't that tall. So that's going to be kind of nice. I remember the ones back in Australia were just ridiculously tall. So we'll get up here. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure that water buffalo is not going to be a gold. It was. It the 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 upper end of it was only slightly inside of that range. So. We'll get this unlocked. Then we'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go find the water buffalo, and I'll bring you back if it's a gold. If if it's not a gold, I'm not going to worry about it. The the score range is almost certainly not. It's almost certainly not a gold. So what do we got around here? So, okay, we'll come over here, we'll get this outpost, and then probably come up and do these, well, hmm. I'm actually thinking we might go this way around. Uh, no, because I gotta get this water buffalo anyways, so we'll just, we'll just head towards that. All right, so I'll go find that water buffalo and I'll be back in a little bit, maybe. What's over here? Oh. Okay. I mean, if it's just going to be standing there and easy to grab, why not? Oh. Fancy a backhand? Set up your decoys, load up your birdshot, and give the cinnamon teal a call. It's that easy. They're beautiful birds, but not that bright. 
the males are easy to spot. Just look for their bright cinnamon colored bodies. I was like, what is that flapping sound? <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never seen, uh, I've never heard the birds actually make flapping sounds with their wings before, so that was different. All right, well, anyways, we got a couple of animals to go grab now, so let me run around, and now I can actually finally, hopefully, put a cut in here instead of continually being interrupted. So, be back in a second. <laughs> All right, here's our puma that we got. It was only a level six, so it's probably good to be just a silver, but no, oh, it ended up being a gold. We'll go ahead and tax that because you know we need to add to our we need to add to our trophy lodge. Parque Fernando is probably going to be. Uh, we're going to be back in our Saseki. Uh, Saseki, Savannah, or whatever it's called. So we still need to come back over here and find that water buffalo that we shot. There is an out, out there is an outside chance that there is an outside chance that that will be a gold, but uh, realistically, probably not. But I'll be back in a second once we find it. Well, I'm getting some warning calls from water buffalo over here, so I'm gonna run in here and see if maybe I can grab one or two of them before they run off. I generally enjoy shooting these guys with the pistol here. I saw one running over here. 148 could be really good. But they're all running away at this point. Let's see. Can we see? Well, that's the last that's the one we that's the one we just spotted there. I don't really feel like chasing these guys down, so let's just head over and see if we can find the one that we know we got. And then we'll head over to do this mission here. And then probably we'll we'll just swing our way up around here and call it a day. Alright, yeah, this water buffalo didn't go too far from where he where we shot him. We got a, we got two uh two vital shots over there, and he's right here. So he didn't go very far at all. Probably just going to be a silver, but who knows? You never know. Oh no, he turned out to be a gold. All right, let's get him. Uh, let's get him taxed real quick. World class hunting reserve, some kind of steam achievement. I'm not really sure. All right, so we can mark water buffalo off the list of gold items that we need. And let's see, where is water buffalo on my sheet here? Water buffalo, and we got a 133.83. Mark our score sheet as gold as well, and here we are. All right, cool. I can uh, I can be very content with that. So we only have three animals left to grab golds of, and then after that, it's just you know grabbing the map and shooting things as we go. Believe it, young Simona took the DNA test to see who was her father, Facundo de Churro or Gaston the Lying Dog. The result: neither man was the father. Simona searched starts anew. This show always gets me with the twist. Oh, my heart. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying this map just for just for the character on this one. She's so ridiculous. Well, it would have been nice if we could have found out what that was. What are they wanting us to do over here? Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> what a, uh, hunt, hang the harvest at the outpost. Okay. See the shed? Place your game in there. Hang it up on the hook and lock the door. Good work, thank you. It's too bad we don't have cold storage here, or you could stockpile meat for the future. Running a refrigerator on generator power would cost me a fortune in petrol. We'll need a better power source soon. Okay, that's good to know. Let's just restock up on ammo really quick since we're here. Uh, I don't think we actually fired we the four fifty. Oh, we did. And the whole party's up and running. You will lead groups like this VIP hunting party. For now, I will assign the party to someone else while you prepare the reserve for their arrival. For example, we want our guests to have some easy fun when they get here. What's more fun than a duck hunt? We have beautifully bloomed cinnamon teal. I see them all the time at Lago Peron. Okay. All it takes is some decoys and a collar to bring in a whole flock. Go to Lago Peron and set up decoys for the incoming party. Give me a map. 
Okay, okay, so we had to go up there, but you know, I'm not really, uh, I'm not trying to pull out duck call, duck stuff right now. We, we may do that in the next episode, but we really need to get these, we really need to get these points of interest unlocked. So I'm just going to run up here and grab that because it doesn't, I mean, maybe. Of course, I get stuck on the tree. I mean, it does. It says set up the hunting locate. You know what? We'll go ahead. We'll run up here, grab this. We'll go to the hunting area and see if they actually want us to set up some decoys. Because if you don't have the if you don't have the DLC for the ducks, then you can't really set up the hunting location. So maybe it's one of those. It just automatically does it for you once you get to the location. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a, like an interaction thing where it sets it up. So yeah, we're gonna do that. I uh, will run up over here. If this ends up being a hunting stand, I'll see you guys over here. Just ahead. Okay. So now the question is, are they going to make me set up stuff over here, or... So, yeah, set up the hunting location. This is the kind of stuff that's like, why? Why are you making me do this? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to hold off on the story for now. As much as I'm enjoying the, the, the storyline itself, that's that's just annoying when they want you to do it like that. I have to go I have to go grab duck stuff. Like it doesn't even tell me what I need to do to set it up in the mission. Like how am I how am I supposed to set this up? There there needs to be some kind of trigger here that just sets it up for you. Cause what if you don't have the DLC that that gives you the duck the duck decoys? What if you don't have that? How are you supposed to do that if you can't if you don't have the duck if you don't have the DLC? Oh, never mind. I try to place those in a natural group. Never mind, I'm stupid. Thank you. Okay. Find the abandoned excavator, salvage a spare fan and belt. Now we have an urgent problem. The fan belt on the generator that powers the Lodge site is busted. Perhaps it was sabotaged by an energy salesman. I'll worry about that. You worry about getting the power back on so the crew can continue working. Okay. Unfortunately, we are a long way from the nearest hardware store, but as we say, lo atamos con alambre, you know, improvise, like MacGyver. Try salvaging a fan belt from the site mark on your hunter mate. That's an old excavator left behind by a mining operation decades ago. Okay. Where? Oh, it's way up here. All right, yeah. So that'll be that'll be a future episode. All right, I'm gonna run through here. I like I like these maps that have nice big open areas that you can kind of see things, and you know, you can stop every once in a while, do a little bit of glassing, see if anything catches your eye, and then just run off for a little while and do it all over again. So I'm gonna keep running off towards here, try to grab all of these, and if we have enough time, we may come up here and try to grab uh, this lookout point over here. Because I do want to kind of try to go off in the direction that the missions are taking us. That way we can hopefully keep along, keep up with the storyline and not end up missing all of it. Because these storylines for some of these maps are actually pretty cool. Decided to have a, a water buffalo. Uh, water buffalo decided to come play for pay me a visit. Oh, another gold. All right. Didn't really get a chance to uh, press the record button because all of a sudden he was up in my face, but there he is. There you go. <laughs> uh, this last one over here turned out to be a hunting stand. Seems like there's going to be a lot of those because there's a lot of open space on this map, and I have to say, I really like that. Yo, look at this guy. Uh, I was really hoping I was going to get him. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. I shot a puma over here. That's what I was really in the middle of. I saw that Axis deer with massive horns on him, and I was like, well, let me bring you guys in for that. <laughs> so I'll go find this puma, and then... Uh, I don't even want to know what that... I don't even want to know what that... Uh, Axis deer was at this point because that's going to be just disappointing if it turns out to be like a diamond or something. Being attacked by a water buffalo. I don't know if I got him. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 no, 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 you don't. 
Just gotta keep juking and jiving, and he'll fall down eventually. There we go. And I did shoot a black buck over there that, you know, vaguely could possibly be a gold. It went down, it looked like it went down pretty quick, so I think we. I think if it, if it did pop up over that score, then we should be good. But, I don't know. No way to know until we actually go over and look at it. I think the score was a maximum of a 115, so it's unlikely. What's this? What are these? And nothing special. So, let's go over here, see. Yeah, definitely got some vital blood on it. So it's just a matter of going and finding it. Oh, there it is. Jeez. Nope, just a silver. Got it right there in the lung and the liver, though, so that's cool. Well, ideally, we'll get to the point where we're actually killing some of these. Ooh, that's a big one. I was, you know, I always forget that even though the pistol has, this pistol has 100% pen, or 100 penetration, that its effective range is really only like 50 meters or something like that. So there's a black buck warning call over here somewhere. Nice if I could spot it, but the trees are too thick. So I think what we'll do is, is we'll run off in this direction and see if we can spot it before it runs away. Unlikely, because it was only a hundred and some odd meters away, and by the time we get on the other side of this, we'll have crashed through and spooked it, but who knows? 111, that wasn't even worth our time. All right. Let's go, uh, we're up here at the uh, lookout point over here. We'll grab this and then we'll kind of swing down this way and grab the rest of these. And then uh, probably call it a day because having to run up all the way over here is going to take a little bit. All right, here we are at the lookout post. I do want to say if you are a budding developer, please, 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 please be sure to set it so that if the window, if the game itself has focus and you are in a looking around mode, lock the cursor to the center of the screen. It is super frustrating to have to constantly fight with your interface because you guys leave out that very basic detail. 134, not even a gold. Yeah, nothing special over there. A lot of water buffalo here, though. It's another money-making map if you can learn where all of the things are. Female black buck there. I'm not super impatient because we only have three things left on the map that we need to get. So while I, you know, while I'd really like to get a gold black buck, not really that, uh, not really that impatient for it just yet. As we start getting towards the end of uncovering everything in the map, I'm gonna become a little bit more, a little bit more desperate about it. But for now, I'm not that worried about it. And it was a female, so obviously there wasn't any point in shooting it anyway. And of course, there's a sound over here while I'm in the middle of an animation I can't break. So that's annoying. Hmm. So. I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come over here and grab this uh, outpost here, and then we'll spend the next episode kind of unlocking all of this. I think that's kind of the way to go. So let's get that locked into our situation here, and uh, I'll head off in that direction. All right, here we are at the outpost that we were looking for. We're going to go ahead and end our episode here. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to more viewers. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to see when new videos come out as soon as they become available because they'll show up in your video feed. 
and you'll be able to watch them immediately. So be sure to subscribe. And lastly, check out that join button to decide if uh, supporting the channel is right for you. There are several tiers and options available, and you can pick from any one of them to help out the channel. Again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt, and I'll see you for the next one.